Valentina Martinez had been working as an accountant in a trading firm for six months and had never earned a single compliment from her boss in all that time. For the most part, she only got criticized, which hurt the woman deeply. Tina was calm by nature and never argued with her superiors. The woman quietly took on almost any job that Olivia Brooks handed off to her. Meanwhile, the workload of all the other employees remained consistently low. For some inexplicable reason, the boss disliked Tina at first sight and never missed the opportunity to show it. The age difference between them wasn't big enough to allow for such a treatment. Moreover, Tina virtually never made any mistakes in her work. Being an accountant, she was well aware of the responsibility her profession entailed and always tried to do everything quickly and accurately. Unfortunately, this didn't seem to be of much importance to Tina's boss, which is why the woman had to go through many unpleasant experiences at her job. Allowing herself to make caustic jokes about her employee, Olivia Brooks behaved simply unacceptably. Some days, the boss allowed herself to comment on the woman's hairstyle, which she didn't like. Other days, she made remarks about her appearance, and sometimes she claimed that Tina was too slow at her job. Since Olivia Brooks was actually a smart, far-sighted woman, she always made inquiries about her subordinates, and she showed the same kind of interest in Tina, too. Despite the fact that the woman preferred not to talk about her past, Olivia still managed to find out that Tina grew up in an orphanage. That explains a lot, and there I was wondering why she had such poor taste in clothes, Olivia said with a smug smile. The boss took pleasure in humiliating her employee and pointing out her shortcomings to everyone. In most cases, Olivia's nagging was unfounded and had only one goal, to hurt Tina as much as possible. At some point, the woman even decided to quit, but this time her boss didn't let her off the hook easily either. Stay on for another month, find a replacement for yourself, train them, and only then can you quit, Olivia objected. But I don't want to stay here for another month. And isn't that illegal? Tina exclaimed with resentment in her voice. Unfortunately, it wasn't easy to convince her boss. To make the accountant stay, Olivia used her salary as a blackmailing tool, threatening not to pay it out if she didn't stay for another month. Sure, it was illegal, but the boss counted on the fact that the poor orphan simply wouldn't have the means to take her to court to fight her case. Tina was also well aware of this fact and thus decided not to aggravate the situation and have the conflict turn into an outright war with her boss. Because of Olivia, the woman became a real outcast in the office, shunned by the rest of the staff. This went on until one day, the boss brought Tina a pile of documents to sign. As the firm's accountant, the woman was supposed to go over them before signing, but Olivia didn't give her time to do it. It's for an important client, Tina. I don't have time to waste on your meaningless checks. Come on, just sign the documents and give them back to me, the boss insisted. Mrs. Brooks, I won't sign them. It's against the rules. You can't just sign documents like that without proper verification. Tina objected. But Olivia got so mad and screamed so loud that she had half of the office watching them. Eventually, Tina quickly skimmed through the documents and signed them, thus violating the procedure. Relying on the decency of the boss, Tina deliberately violated the rules. At first, the accountant was very upset by what had happened. But a day passed, then a second one, and there didn't seem to be any repercussions. At some point, Tina even caught herself thinking that everything worked out and nothing terrible happened. And then Olivia Brooks asked Tina to come into her office. The expression on her boss's face didn't bode well, and Tina realized that as soon as she entered her office. To the woman's surprise, the director of the company was also in Olivia's office. He was sitting at the desk of the head of the department. Robert Miller was considered a tough man with a stern disposition. Without saying a single word, he gave Tina the documents she had signed. Even before opening them, the woman realized that something bad had happened. 
As it turned out, her signature made the company lose money, which made the director very angry. Tina tried to hint that it was Olivia's fault, but looking into her eyes, she stopped mid-sentence. Only now did the woman realize that her boss had deliberately set her up. She had no way of proving her case, and thus, Olivia Brooks' plan worked out exactly as she expected. Having forced Tina to make the wrong decision, the boss knew that the director wouldn't forgive her mistake and would certainly fire the accountant. At the same time, Olivia wasn't the least bit sorry for what she did and behaved as if nothing had happened. The most aggravating part for Tina was that most of the employees knew that the head of the department forced her to sign those documents. The woman knew it, but she couldn't prove anything. Olivia was her superior, and her opinion had a much heavier weight than the words of some accountant who failed to stand her ground and do her job properly. Tina's dismissal wasn't long in coming, which was a serious blow to the unfortunate orphan. Since the accountant's mistake cost the company money, it was decided to take the damages out of her salary. Thus, it turned out that Tina didn't just lose her job, but also her livelihood. Oh my God, what did I do to deserve this? I didn't want to do anything wrong, and now they're acting like I'm pure evil, the woman thought with tears in her eyes. Since any attempts to prove her innocence didn't give any results, Tina resigned herself to the decision of her superiors and left the office of the company she now hated. Watching her go, Olivia felt delighted that everything happened exactly as she had planned. When she set out to get Tina, she didn't even suspect that it would be so easy to pressure her into signing those documents. It's hard to say what exactly made Olivia loathe Tina so much, but her dislike was all too obvious. To some extent, it looked like an attempt to assert herself at the expense of the young accountant, but in fact, she had a different reason for it, and Tina's dismissal would have happened sooner or later anyway. Two weeks passed. The company's business gradually went uphill, and everyone forgot about the incident with Tina. Everything would have been fine if it weren't for the upcoming audit, which was very unexpected for everyone at the company. Being overly confident, Olivia Brooks didn't accurately assess the degree of danger this audit posed to her and didn't bring the company's documents in order. She only realized how wrong she was when the audit revealed that the company's management had been evading taxes for a long time. Trying to rectify the situation, Olivia Brooks turned directly to the person who was in charge of the audit. He turned out to be a pleasant man of about 30 with an intelligent look on his handsome, aristocratic face. Mr. Martinez, sir, could you give our firm a chance to redeem itself? Could you let us continue to operate and get back on our feet? Olivia asked cautiously. Benjamin Martinez gave the woman an appraising look after which he asked her an unexpected question. Mrs. Brooks, let me ask you one question. Do you usually give your employees a second chance when they make a mistake? Do you care if the person is actually guilty of misconduct or not? Olivia Brooks turned pale and got so agitated that it took her some time to comprehend what she was being asked about. At that moment, a spark of insight flashed through her mind triggered by the thought of Tina's dismissal. Dear God, Tina Martinez, this can't be happening. Could this man really be her husband? Olivia thought, shivering. But when the woman looked into the auditor's eyes, she immediately realized that her guess was correct. Nevertheless, Olivia still tried to talk to Benjamin Martinez into taking pity on them, since the man seemed to personify fairness and had an open mind. Of course, the audit wasn't Benjamin's way to avenge his wife's dismissal. There have been numerous complaints filed against this firm, and Tina was far from the only one who was fired without getting any severance pay. When Tina Martinez came home in tears, 
Her husband didn't immediately understand what was happening and thought that she simply had another hard day at work. But when the woman said that she was fired for no good reason, the man decided to finally take a closer look at this ill-fated firm and check it for fraud and tax evasion. As the audit showed, Olivia Brooks used her employees to run scams within the company and avoid any responsibility for it. Her scams worked flawlessly. The proceeds were divided equally between the director and Olivia Brooks. Meanwhile, the owner of the company didn't even suspect that his two senior employees were deceiving him in the most unscrupulous way. Upon learning that Benjamin Martinez was the husband of the accountant she fired, Olivia tried to rectify the situation and ask for her forgiveness. When the former boss came to Tina, she understood everything without words. The woman didn't make a scene or tried to lecture her boss. Tina simply refused to help her, referring to the fact that she now had a new job at a firm where the staff didn't get bullied or framed. Later, the firm where Olivia worked closed down, and she was taken to court for tax evasion. Since her involvement in the scam wasn't as big as it seemed at first, the woman got off with a huge fine and a suspended sentence. However, having gotten such an addition to her biography, the scammer won't be able to get any managing positions anytime soon, since most companies value decency and a good name above all else.